Hello Virgo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading for the first half of August from the 1st all the way through the 15th. General reading as always, so please do take from it what makes sense for you personally and release the rest. So we're going to start with taking a look at present energies for your connection. I'm going to be using this deck by Angelic Revelation 144, Lovebirds and Spirit Animals. So let's begin, and of course we'll clarify everything throughout this reading with some tarot messages. All right, Virgo, so what's up? Virgo season is around the corner, so what's coming in for you? First half of August. We have Eagle. Eagles as a species made for life. They are symbolic of soulmates, loyalty, hope, healing, resilience, strength, sacrifice, courage, vision, creativity, and sexual power. What is truly important in your love relationship and how can you value each other more? The eagle's loyalty to one another is the epitome of devotion and commitment. That's really nice, okay? Because this has the potential for someone to be a life partner. This could be an individual that really represents the full package. You know, they have everything to offer, but this could be how they see you as well. We have Kingfisher. The Kingfisher symbolizes love, sunshine, warmth, happiness, abundance, and prosperity. How beautiful are these messages? The Kingfisher is a longtime symbol of peace and prosperity with many legends and superstitions mainly originating from ancient Greece. An old legend tells of how Kingfishers were a dull gray, but when Noah released it from the ark, it flew towards the sun and the blue sky. As it rose up towards the sun, it was burnt and changed into a bright new color. Blue is often a color associated with Jupiter in astrology. The Kingfisher is the promise of abundance, prosperity, and new love. The Kingfisher also has a dark crest often associated with royalty. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's pretty cool stuff. All right. And lastly, we have chicken. Okay. Chicken represents an intensely passionate sexual connection with a strong foundation of love and commitment. Abundance in all ways will flow with this connection, financially and spiritually. A strong desire to have a family. There may be a need to protect your relationship and family from outside negativity. All right, so take whatever part of these messages attached to these spirit animals makes sense for you and the person that you are thinking of at this time. So let's clarify with some tarot. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher deck here for you, Virgo, to get things started for this Love and Life reading first half of August. But wow, unbelievable messages. Commitment, abundance, happiness, prosperity families, you know, I mean, it's really nice, all of it. We do have the King of Wands, but this card is coming up in the reverse here. So some of you guys might be dealing with an individual who tends to be a little bit overbearing with you. Sometimes they're a little bit on the rude side. They can be a bit of a tyrant. Okay, so we'll see how that plays a role here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a masculine who is a sun sign, not sun sign, I can't think today, fire sign, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Oh my goodness, I've done way too many readings today. So king of wands representing fire, but in the reverse, as I've mentioned, okay? So if this person comes off as a little bit forceful with you, ruthless, overbearing, as I've mentioned, they tend to do things very impulsively. And maybe, Virgo, this is just someone that you've had a very difficult time dealing with. You know, what you're looking for here with the description for the eagle, as it says, you know, they mate for life. This is someone who is symbolic of a soulmate, loyal to you. And I mean, it doesn't mean that this King of Wands doesn't represent somebody that you see yourself living with for the rest of your life. Although it could be for some of you, but they perhaps have what's coming to me right now. It's almost like a Jekyll and Hyde type thing with this person. 
you know, one minute they're sweet and wonderful and you know what they're all about, and the next they're flying off the handle. They might have a bit of a temper. So that type of individual, they can be a little bit difficult to deal with sometimes. We do have the star. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarian here, or you might have Aquarius in your chart. And, I mean, look at all of the amazing things that came through representing the Kingfisher. Okay, love, sunshine, warmth, happiness, abundance, and prosperity. And all of those things can come to you if it's not already a part of your life. There's hope to be able to manifest all of these things. The star, of course, could be a fulfilled wish for you, Virgo. Not just in regard to your love life, either. Could be including your finances, your career, your health, your relationship with friends, with family, whatever means the most to you. This is a card of rejuvenation. This is a card of self-care as well. So this might be really wrapped up in so many things with what's going on in your life. But it's telling you that there's hope, certainly in situations where you might be losing hope. And then we've got the Two of Swords, which can represent no movement because there's a stalemate here. So if you and a particular person are on different pages or you're just going through some challenges in your partnership right now because they're trying to perhaps force you into doing something or really kind of wanting you to see things from their perspective, but maybe you guys just don't agree on certain points, you know? So you're kind of at an impasse with this person. We'll have to dig a little bit deeper to see what that's about. So it can be a little bit complicated because I feel you love this person, but at the same time, when they are in bully mode or they're a tyrant, you also keep your distance from this person. So either you're in a committed partnership with someone like that, or this could represent somebody that you were with before. And part of the star card here is that you want to just be able to go on to a different, go in a different direction in your life. And the star is giving you the opportunity, giving you a different path to follow here. But when it comes to an individual that it's coming through in this form of the king of swords in the reversed, you guys are stuck. You're feeling stuck. So we'll tap into that throughout the reading and see why you're feeling stuck. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what they're not telling you here. All right, so we're going to pull from my Silhouettes deck here, Virgo, and see what else you need to be aware of for the first half of August in Love and Life. So what they're not telling you. You could resonate with some of these messages for yourself and what you're not telling them. We have dream house. It's not a home unless we're in it together. So where was that? I mean, it's really kind of wrapped up in all of these messages, but I believe it's the chicken. Abundance in all ways will flow with this connection. Financially and spiritually, a strong desire to have a family. There may be a need to protect your relationship and family from outside negativity. I kind of feel that for this energy of this reference to the dream house. You guys either purchased a dream home, but because you guys might be at a distance from each other or dealing with a lot of stresses in your relationship, that could be it. Or somebody might have moved out. You might have moved out, Virgo, if that applies, or somebody did, where it's just four walls now. It doesn't matter how how nice the house is if you guys are not in it together, if it affected the two of you and the relationship. We do have obstacles, and this does say we're bound to run into people, things, and circumstances that will get in the way and create challenges for us. As long as we tackle it together, we can handle anything. And that's the key here, you know, that you guys have to be able to work together in or order to overcome these obstacles. But we are taking a look at what they're not telling you here. So 
if, for example, this is the person that was left behind and they don't have you in their life, they're feeling this void, there's this emptiness. And perhaps this is coming through because maybe you guys didn't work together to overcome whatever these obstacles are and they would want you guys to do that. We do have springtime, okay, so March April, May could be significant months for some of you. Obviously, springtime has come and gone for this year. Something could be blooming, certainly in your love life, possibly next spring. So we're looking at Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini here. That could be your person. The springtime, significant for some. We also have Bride coming through here. From your smile to your kisses, I can't wait to be your missus, okay? So, weddings, a new house, you know, these are milestones that perhaps you guys have already achieved together, or this is a dream that you personally have and what it is that you would like to manifest with a particular person that you have in mind. So, let's add some words to that. I'm going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle. This is by All Things Intuitive. It's not a home unless you guys are in it together. And I love how this particular dress right here representing the bride has all of these flowers, which could represent springtime, you know? Okay, so let's see what they're not telling you. It was my fault, but I blamed you, which is, which can be indicative of that card that came up in the reverse, which was the King of Wands. Overbearing, ruthless, rude, forceful, bully, tyrant. So they did something, but they ended up blaming you for it. Let's see what else. I don't react when people mention you. So this is someone I feel, Virgo, that they kind of put up a front around people so that, you know, they're perhaps a little bit difficult to read. Certainly their facial expressions, they don't want to react when somebody mentions your name or brings you up. See what else they're not telling you i am afraid to contact you which might be why you might not hear from this person until next year around springtime that could be giving you a time frame here for some of you guys but you know taking that out of the equation they're just telling you here they're fearful that they are apprehensive they're afraid to actually reach out to you that's what they're not telling you and that's why you're not hearing from them because they're afraid However, look at this. I feel you, even though we are apart. It doesn't matter that you guys are at a distance, that you've broken up, that there's a separation here. They still feel your energies. They still feel your presence. And bottom of the deck, look at this. I love you unconditionally. So a lot of these things are coming through because they haven't either taken the time to share these feelings with you or they're now realizing these things because you are not in their life. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify here. I'm going to pull from my illuminated star tarot deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. All right, let's take a look. What they're not telling you. They're afraid to contact you. We have another reverse card right here, which is the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, Virgo, my divine feminines. Okay. In the upright, the Queen of Pentacles is known to be very nurturing, very generous financial security. So some of you guys might be struggling a little bit financially, or you're just not very nurturing to yourself or people around you. You could also have your walls up not wanting to be as generous as you normally are with people. 
either with money, with your time, your energy, whatever it is. Family dynamic has also been affected here for some of you. I'm getting that. Here's the thing, too, with a reversed Queen of Pentacles, because it can represent someone who can be a little bit self-centered, be the jealous type, be very smothering also. Okay, so I'm picking up off of this vibe for Divine Feminine Energy, but it could be reversed, so take it how it makes sense gender-wise. But I'm just getting for somebody here that because of the the smothering that was going on, somebody might have broken free, somebody might have decided, you know, they couldn't breathe in the relationship and either detached or walked away. That could explain why some of you guys are not together. Some of you guys could have also been married. Okay, we've got the Hierophant, tradition, commitment, religious beliefs. Two people who are meant to be. A spiritual lesson, however way that is coming through for some of you. But yeah, commitment. Marriage for some of you. Okay, we have the bride card right there. We do have the devil card also coming through. Addiction, shadow self, unhealthy attachments. So if you are holding on to unhealthy attachments when it comes to people or even certain behaviors, these are things that need to be addressed. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or even a Taurus here. The devil can, as it states, you know, represent someone who's dealing with very difficult addictions in their life, whether that's substance abuse, it could be alcoholism, it could be sex addiction, like it's obsessions, it's temptations, it's unhealthy attachments. You could relate to that for yourself, Virgo, but it could also be the person that you are thinking about. So maybe what it is that they're not telling you is that they're still dealing with these unhealthy attachments. Part of that attachment could be towards you. And that could also be why they're afraid to contact you. We do have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is someone who as well is looking for a commitment. Willing to work very hard at the partnership, at the connection. But this is someone who moves ever so slowly. They're treading lightly towards you. But this could also represent you, Virgo. You know, you could represent this very slow and steady moving individual. That what you're wanting in this partnership is commitment. And you're willing to put in the effort and the work to make that happen. So, you know, take it how it applies. And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming through here. So things are going to change. Things will fall in your favor. If this person is truly meant to be a part of your life, and that's a part of your destiny and your life's history, life will find a way to make it happen. Okay, there's good luck here. It's falling in your favor. And maybe this person as well will be recognizing this and create that movement that's necessary to be a part of your life again, if that truly is what it is that you're wanting. Okay, but good luck is on your side. All right, Virgo, so let's go ahead and add to this. And let's grab some messages from your spirit guides here for your love and life reading. I'm going to pull from the Signs from Spirit Love Oracle. This is by Mystic Moon. What else do you need to know for the first half of August for this love and life reading? All right, here we go. Blue. Serenity. Tranquility. Peace. Beautiful. Okay, this is restoring peace in your life. You have the capability of manifesting that towards you. So if things are a little bit crazy and chaotic in your life right now, you can restore that peace, that serenity. Blue could also be your favorite color. All right, so let's see what else.
Someone could also really love butterflies too. We have gray, depressed, detached, unemotional. So take whichever one of these makes sense for you, Virgo. If you're feeling depressed right now, just know that that could be temporary. But you could also be dealing with someone who's unemotional and detached. We've got 1111. If you happen to be seeing this time or number, pay attention to that. This is a make a wish number. You're being guided to know that you're on a spiritual awakening journey, letting you know too that you are on the right path in your life. Look at this. And then you've got Dove. Again, a reference to peace. Peace restored in your life. Really nice. So let's add to that with some additional messages from When Spirit Speaks by Medium on a Mission. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. So what else do we need to know here? Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed right now. And again, this to me looks like a very chaotic environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. That could be your person's environment too. Maybe they are so overwhelmed with life and their responsibilities that they haven't even taken the time to clean up their home. Something along those lines. And then we do have the love card coming through here, tapped into the heart chakra. But clearly someone is feeling very depressed in their heart space. And I feel, Virgo, that could be because they're not with you. It's affected them more than perhaps they care to let you know. We have health, okay? Right next to 1111, spiritual awakening, you are on the right path. So for those of you that relate to this, especially if you've been dealing with health issues, ailments, whatever that might be, you are on the right path. Maybe you're finally doing something to help yourself to get better, get healthier, improve the quality of your life. So that's actually really good. Look at this. We have nourishment coming through. For some of you, it could be something as simple as you're changing your eating habits, you're eating better, you're taking better care of yourself. So if, for example, regarding your health, things have been a little bit challenging, this dove representing peace, peace in your health in regards to health and your overall quality of life might be restored. And this is also being to being referred to, in my opinion, as kind of feeding your soul, you know, feeding what might be malnourishing your heart. You know what I mean? And that can sometimes be people that we interact with who are treating us poorly, who don't treat us right, you know? And sometimes you got to give back to yourself in order to maintain or restore peace in your life. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these messages here. Let's grab some tarot. But you've got some beautiful numbers represented here with that 1111 card. Okay, and then that's the next section of this reading, actually. We're going to be taking a look at some angel numbers. But first, let's go ahead and clarify what's here. So let's start with the Tabby Tarot teacher here. I'm getting to, for some of you, Virgo, that maybe your life is in a much better place, but your person is not. They're overwhelmed. They're in this chaotic, crazy, messy environment. I'm getting also for your person that they have to find balance in their heart. They need to find love for themselves as well because you are on the right path, but maybe they are not. There's healing that needs to happen here. Divine Feminine coming in as the Empress. Some of you guys could have already had children with your masculine here. But this is abundance right here. Supportive feminines in your life 
this can also be telling you that there will be desirable results in not just your love life, but every aspect of your life. Finding the beauty in life, finding the beauty within people in your life, finding the beauty within yourself. Be very nurturing with you right now. We've got the Knight of Swords here. Some of you could be dealing with perhaps a younger masculine. Could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So the Knight of Swords, known to be very impulsive. They jump in to situations, but sometimes they don't stick around, you know? The Knight of Swords is also known to be the type to not commit. They're non-committal. They get easily bored in their connection and therefore they end up leaving just as fast perhaps as they came in you know so divine feminines if this is your masculine perhaps you already know this <clears throat> excuse me i'm losing my voice perhaps you already know this about your masculine divine feminine could also be the older counterpart in this connection You guys could have had a very painful breakup with that ton of swords, betrayals, a relationship that fell apart. And Divine Feminines, you're coming in as the High Priestess as well. So it's very important for you in the meantime to really trust your gut and intuition, trust your heart when it comes to your masculine. Doing what feels right for you in the meantime. I love this. We've got the Six of Swords. So calmer waters. That's good. We've had references to peace right here. Coming in. Serenity. Tranquility. You're heading towards calmer waters in your life. Perhaps when it comes to your person. Again, we've got air energy. So it could be with an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We've got cards representing swords here. This is about releasing past baggage. Moving forward transitioning away from drama in the past, overcoming hardships in your life, and healing in however way you need that. And then you've got the Ace of Pentacles right here, Virgo, representing your own earth energy. So you're coming into a point in your life where you will be very abundant, where you can manifest whatever it is that you are focused on, whether it is a new job, a career advancement, new beginnings, new opportunities, money matters looks amazing for you. But this does represent also a solid offer of commitment, a solid offer of stability in your relationships, as well as potential marriage for some of you. So yes, you've been through something difficult and painful, but you are transitioning away from that. Okay, so that's that's really good. So let's go ahead and add to this. Let's grab our angel numbers here. I'm going to leave this 1111 card out since it is one of the numbers coming through. And we're going to pull from the Twin Flame Angel Numbers deck by Mystic Moon. And I love how the 1111 number is very prominently displayed in the front of the deck. All right, so here we go. What other numbers could be significant for you, Virgo? We have 0550. Your angels say to wait and bide your time for better results. Okay? So when it comes to particular life-altering decisions at this time, maybe just give it a little bit more time. Have some patience. We have 111. Fresh new concepts and ideas are being made available to you for the journey ahead. I love that. So whatever ideas come to you for a new beginning, a fresh new start, you're being guided in a particular direction. We have 1515. Pay attention to signs and information that comes to you in books, songs, and names. Okay, so a lot of signs that are trying to grab your attention, perhaps the first half of August. And one more number here, 2020, okay? I mean, obviously 2020 was a very difficult year for so many, 
but this is the message remain optimistic about your connection your true heart's desire is on the horizon so it's on its way to you your true heart's desire the one the person that you are focused on the one that you want the one that you see as your ideal person you have the capability of manifesting this person into your life a wish that can come true amazing all right virgo so let's go ahead and wrap it up with some final messages from the person who is truly in your heart and what they need you to know right now from their higher self so i'm going to pull messages from my heavenly hearts oracle deck here angels and spirit guides please All right, here we go. I never knew my heart could feel this way for anyone until I found you. So there's something very special, really, about the connection that you share with this person. I've made my fair share of mistakes in my life, but when it came to you and I, I finally got something right. Okay, so maybe they're recognizing this from their higher self in just a matter of time before this can be a reality in the 3D. I'm in heaven when you kiss me. You make my heart beat faster, my body quiver. I want you more and more each day. So they, they definitely desire you, big time. I never knew happiness until you. And lastly... I dreamt you into existence. So this person might have really dreamt about meeting their ideal mate, and you represent that. They could have dreamt about you truly before you even manifested in the 3D for this person. You guys could also be interacting in your dreams. Okay, so that's what they need and want to tell you at this time from their higher self. Virgo, and hopefully whatever part of this reading made sense for you, it offers you guidance and advice that's helpful heading into the first half of August. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so very much, and I'll see you next time.